How's it going, folks? Thanks for tuning in to another episode of RC Exploits. So, for those of you that have been watching, you know that I recently purchased a, a new Copra four-wheel steer. And uh, my goal with it was not to, uh, you know, just buy it and throw a bunch of parts at it. Uh, I wanted to see if I could make some incremental improvements and, uh, you know, take a, a pretty good product and see if I could make it a little bit better. So I've already installed a Vanquish Products ring and pinion, underdrive ring and pinion in the rear axle. And uh, you may be asking yourself, why does my copra look like a heaping wreck? And the reason would be my newest mod, which is a brass diff cover from Hot Racing. Let's see, uh, let me show you the part number on that before I move on. There's part number on that if you're interested in one of those. So, why did I choose this mod? Well, uh, one of the main reasons was uh, I wanted to keep the front end planted when, uh, when I'm climbing, when I'm going up an incline. Uh, another reason I like it is that uh, it puts weight down low, right in the center of the vehicle, right in the center line. Uh, another reason I, I chose uh, a diff cover versus, you know, say a, a set of brass portal covers or brass, uh, you know, portal knuckles. Uh, I like the fact that the servo doesn't have to push around the diff cover as opposed to if you put brass out here, portal covers or whatnot. Um, my copper has stock servos. Servos aren't cheap nowadays. And since it has two of them, I want to try and keep them alive for uh, as long as I can. Uh, so let's talk about the part a little bit. So as I said, this is from, let's see if I can get it in focus there. It's from Hot Racing. This is their brass diff cover for the Copra. Weighs 88 grams. Let's see. Let's see if I can show you a difference between... The hot racing and the stock you can see how much more beefy the brass one is yeah i mean even if it weren't metal all that extra material would make it a lot heavier and beefier the fact that it's brass just adds to that just compounds that effect so quite a difference there uh the quality of the part was pretty good. The machining was uh, pretty good. There's a couple little burrs I had to remove. Nothing crazy. The fit was excellent. Uh, install time on this thing was uh, probably about 20 minutes. And uh, let me see, just to give you a little hint, if you want to install one of these, all you would need to do is remove a wheel and tire from one side and then remove the screw right down here that holds the bottom of the shock and the bottom link mount. And once you do that, it'll give the axle enough free play that you can get the uh, the four screws out of here and remove the cover. Uh, another cool thing is uh, the grub screw for the drive shaft is the same size as a screw down here, which is two millimeters. So a two millimeter driver should be all you need to install that. So uh, I didn't really want to do an install video, but uh, that's a nice big hint for you if you want to put one of those in. Uh, after I got it installed, uh, the axle spun freely. There were no rough spots or clicking, so that was great. Uh, it came with stainless hardware, which is all, uh, uh, which is always a plus. Now, one thing that had me a little bit a little bit concerned, um, there's a little bit of play there when you push the drive shaft in, and the pinion moves as well. And I was a little bit concerned about that. I was wondering if maybe I should shim the pinion, but uh, I've had this installed. I crawled, uh, you know, I, I crawled with it installed already, and it doesn't seem to be a problem. And uh, I will also tell you, uh, I had that same play with a stock diff cover as well. Uh, 
so let me see is it worth it well yeah i would say it's probably worth it um the copper performed normally in uh normal you know flat or horizontal climbing uh, I feel like it did help keep the uh, the front end planted when uh, you know when you're going up a, an incline. Um, the only possible downside I can really see, uh, you know, if you have a copra, you probably already know uh, the copra has well basically doesn't have a drag brake. Now, when I installed the underdrive ring and pinion, it actually helped the drag brake a little bit. But uh, this big heavy lunk of brass, it pretty much destroyed that little gain. Um, so yeah, this thing, you know, this big heavy chunk of metal, it will drag you right down a, a hill or decline. So uh, that's, that's the only possible downside that I can see. Uh, so overall, I think I would give this mod probably, uh, probably about 4 out of 5 stars. So... Uh, What's next on uh, on the agenda for the Copra? Well, <coughs> excuse me, I may install a brass servo mount on the rear axle. Beef Tubes makes a brass servo mount. And uh, honestly, I may install one just to cancel out a little bit of the weight of this huge thing. Um, not sure if I'm going to do that 100%. I may... One thing I'm definitely going to do is install these new alt foams that I got in the mail yesterday. Yeah, I can't wait to get these put in. These look like great foams. I got a couple that are out of the package here. So just to give you a quick look, you can see they're solid on one side and they have cells on the other side. So, uh, I've been hearing a bit about those alt foams. I can't wait to get them installed. So, look for that next. That'll be the next video. Uh, as for this video, I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here. Uh, so, as always, like, share, subscribe, and thanks for watching.